Maria! Hey everybody, my name is Nixie Shadow. Welcome to Let's Play Smash of the Week. And today, we're doing uh, the theme for villains, as in the bad guys. Duh. So we got Bowser from uh, uh, Mushroom Kingdom, you know, the Mario series. Uh. Oh, that's a weird burp. We got Wario, which is also a bad guy in the Mario series. Also, well, I'm not sure if he's a good guy, really. But still, he's a bad guy in some way or another. And we got Bowser Jr. As well from the Mario series, uh, and then of course we finally got people that's not from the Mario series, being Ganondorf uh, from the Legend of Zelda series and King DDD from the Kirby series, which he was kind of debatable in my own opinion because well, I don't know if King DDD's bad. I feel like he's more of a good, but I'm not too sure. Like there's times that like he looks bad or he is bad, especially in the anime, but he's kind of really does a good. Ish guy. I don't know how to explain it for him, but really, but still. Say Wario, he's good and bad at the same time. I don't really even know. So, yeah, you know, of course, there's, there's no wolf. There's no King K. Rule. There's no, like, I don't know, other freaking villains. I, I would have said Dark Pit in a way, but, I mean, in, in, in the game Kid Icarus Uprising, he was kind of becoming a good guy, anyways. So, I don't know. It's kind of debatable to say if he was a good or bad guy so I left him out of the match because he wasn't like completely bad it's not like he tried killing or taking over or something so that's all I can really say about that uh no Hades you know of course uh who, who else is uh, Smash Brothers um I don't, I don't I don't really know but uh yeah you know so bad guys anyways so I am predicting that either well this Five, so I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick two to make more even. I can say three because I don't know. I'll have to say two. I'm gonna go with Ke uh, Bowser and King Diddy, the two in the corner. Why? Because why not? Honestly, I don't know. I just feel like the one of them's gonna win. If not, whatever. It m most likely might be fucking getting to a fall. I know, but still. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, it's. Uh, I know this is going up on a Friday, which I know I've been trying to actually upload these on uh, Saturday. But uh, I'm actually kind of uh, uh, hesitating on that. What well, hesitating? Kind of stalling time for tomorrow because I have to record something for what tomorrow. Recording something for Saturday as in top tanks. I haven't made one yet. I haven't made one yet. I have to think of something literally by the end of the day or tomorrow so I can have an idea what I'm going to be doing. I'm like fuck. And then of course uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, uh, thing. If it won't go up this. If it won't go up tomorrow, sorry, if it don't go up tomorrow next Saturday, it will most likely come back next week on Friday. I'm sorry, I just not really what I was really wanted to do with it. I just feel like a little bit of a hassle, especially since it's the uh, end of the game. Oh, what do you know? Bowser and King D. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say who's going to win, because I don't know who's going to win. I haven't seen this for a while. I want to say, as of right now, DDD, because he has more HP. But I don't know. Oh wait, can I finish him? No, he's still alive. Okay, but still, um, who, who, who else? Who else is a? Uh, who else is around? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm more, I'm more like. Oh, 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 okay. Oh wait, you freaking Koopa! I just wonder who's gonna win. Oh, oh, okay. Bowser has survived like Luli a couple times, and he is a miracle. Oh, dude. Bowser, you, you could have won if you went suicidal, man. You could have won, maybe won that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm actually kind of excited who's going to win right now. Bowser's actually coming back really good. Oh. Ah, uh, it's a fucking throw. Really, Diddy? That's a cheap win. Whatever. Alright, so King Diddy wins. Alright, everybody. Uh, let's get on to the, uh, Online matches and such, alright? Alright. So today, uh, 
uh, side theme or other theme is uh, what people I'm fighting with is with friends. It is uh, Jordan and Connor. So the Zawa Toad is again Jordan, and Connor is of course the main person from the Smash Smash Weekly videos, I should say, really, Mr. Magna Ragnarok. So uh, I believe right now that's the person that's playing Mr. Magna Ragnarok is or Mr. playing as Mr. Magna Ragnarok. The guy that's playing as Mr. Game and Watch is Connor, Mr. Magna Ragnarok. And Jordan is playing as Cloud, and I'm playing as Lasagna, so I believe that's right. If not, I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I think of that. So, anyways, uh, I guess I could tell you what has happened this week. That's kind of important to me, I guess. So, all right, so uh, hmm. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, that was a weird ass burp in my in my fucking mouth. It just kind of like ugh. Kind of show, you know. All right. Anyways, um, this week I have went game chasing ish. I shouldn't really. Now when I think of it, I really. I just. I, 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 uh, I have to save up money. I have to save up money. I gotta save up money. If you don't already know. I'm going to Retro Palooza, Arlington in Texas. That's literally in Arlington. So, uh, in October, but I have to have the money by September. So it's gonna be a lot of saving money, but uh, I have spoke to you know the people that I am going with to Retropalooza. I have my money for sure. Don't spend money on a lot of other shit, uh, but I have. But I did tell them the things I'm for sure gonna be buying within like this month. It's gonna be like Turtles uh, Manhattan, like I don't know Manhattan, not Manhattan Project. You just in Manhattan for the PS3. I say what PS3 Shadow? Okay. PS4, I would have bought it on the PS4. The thing is, PS4, memory's like fucking stupid. Same with Xbox One. And it's not on the Wii U, so I have to get it for the default console, for my own opinion. It's probably better to get for, for memory wise, is Ninja Turtles. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, PS3, Ninja Turtles, to, uh, Mutants, and Manhattan. In Manhattan, okay. Anyways, I was trying to say, um, there was another game this month. Uh,. It's not coming to mind. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. I'll. I'll it'll, it'll come to me. It'll, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But uh, yeah. So that, that's a, that's the thing. So uh, this 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 week I have bought in uh, some DVDs from uh, uh, thrift stores. You know, Goodwills, Desert Industries, DIs. You know, stores like that. That's just thrift stores. You know. Oh, who is winner? Oh, I am, of course. So, Lucenia. Or Lucina. I don't fucking care. It's Lucina, Lucina, whatever. Tomato, tomato, whatever. Okay, we're back. So, I forgot to edit in pre-editing. So, yay! Because I am watching this with a pre-edit kind of like thing. So, I am playing as Pit, while uh, Connor's playing as Connor. Uh, playing as Connor. Playing as Sonic, and Jazara Toad is. Jordan is playing as, I think, again, Cloud. Or I could be totally wrong, and that's actually. Uh. Uh. Connor is playing as Cloud. I don't really know. Anyways, anyways fall in him. All I know is that there's a taunt. I will for sure know by the taunt, but I don't really know. So, uh, the DVDs I have gotten was uh, two Yu-Gi-Oh movies. Or not no, movie movies, but like DVDs. You know, Capsule Monster, the ones like how to play the, the, the card game or something like that, which is in a pretty good condition. Then I got uh, the Prop of Girls, the movie. Uh, then I got Trigun. Uh, Remix Volume 1. Don't even know what that means, but whatever and then I got a uh, Gundam wing or not a Gundam wing SD Gundam or something like that I don't really know what that means it's, it's like a it's like a chibi version of Gundam so whatever that and Dragon Ball Z the movie uh, Broly the legendary Super Saiyan so that's pretty good find that one was actually like a two dollar game or dollar game dollar movie so I was like hey, you know, that's not bad find I think but I don't know how much movie goes for now but still uh, besides that uh, the biggest things I probably got this week is the Lion King on the Sega Genesis, uh, complete in box. Well, actually, it's not complete in box. I know that it's missing the manual, but it's still fine in my opinion. Uh, so I'm pretty good, excited I have that. Um, next I have is Shining Force Neo, uh, which I'm aware of the series. Uh, I just heard it's pretty good. I just want to try it out. So, you know, it gives me a chance to you know, try out the game for once. So. Uh, also, oh, by the way, if I continue uh, with this uh, weekly videos things, I got this all from um, 
my cousin-in-law. So I call my cousin-in-law. It could be there could be an actual name for that, but I don't really know. But I call my cousin-in-law because he's not like oh he's my cousin from like my other like from my from my like okay he's my cousin. Okay, okay, okay. My cousin. Uh, let's say with Julie, because that's her name, Julie. On her dad's side of the family, which is not related to my mom's side of the family, married or something. So, yeah, cousin-in-law. That's why I call it. So whatever, cousin-in-law. Um, he he's selling some games because uh, I believe it's for college or other things I'm not too aware of or sure of. But I know he's just selling some games. I told him if you have any games you want to sell to me, please let me know. Uh, so of course you know he's done that. And um, well, so these guards, uh, these kids are from him. So those two games, including uh, Castlevania, I'm actually trying to see all the way over there. I, I I forget the damn name. I'm sorry, it's not coming to mind. It is not coming to mind. Castlevania. Okay, it's a, it's a game for the DS. But the thing is, there's like three or four Castlevania games for the DS, so it's it's a little hard to tell you. I can tell you the cover's color. It's it's like a. It's a brown, orangey, tan cover. I don't remember the name. I think it's. I don't think it's Ario Sorrow. I think that's the game where your fans want. But still, it's for the DS. That's uh, uh, that's one of I can tell you. Okay, maybe it's Portrait or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the next one is Vector Man Two. Surprisingly, I have never had Vector Man Two. I I've had Vector Man for the Genesis for like the longest fucking time. It's probably like my first games on a Genesis. And by the way. And by the way, I just won. So that's that's that's, that's good enough. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, I won that. So um, on to the next match, I guess, huh? Alright, in this match we got Duck Hunt versus Cloud versus Zero Suit Samus. I'm pretty well, okay, if I let me see how Zero Suit Samus plays out, because I know Jordan, he's a Okay, Cloud. I know he plays a really good Zero Suit Samus, so let's see how this is your time it plays out, so. I don't know, I'm just kind of being quiet, but I'm not trying to be like quiet, but. I don't know. Jordan's a really good Zero Suit Samus kind of guy. So. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry. I just burped really weirdly, and that's not what I wanted to do. So. Yeah, Victor Man 2, man. The only way I ever played that game was, I believe, on, Sega, uh, on Sonic Mega Collection? For the GameCube, or it was something like that. I know it's on the. What? What? what who? I don't know if we're playing as Cloud right now. You're, you're sucking right now. But uh, whoever's uh, fucking. It, I think it's on the Sega Meg. No, Sega Mega. It's on his Ultimate Genesis Collection or Mega Drive Collection, depending on where you live. I believe it's on that. So. Still. Uh, yeah, that. Also, um. Uh, the last major game, I feel like it's probably the biggest one for me. Uh, because I'm slowly trying to get into the Game Boy Advance collecting, uh, thing. Because, you know, I'm not really, like, going hard as much as I was with, like, 64. I'm trying to slowly again. Uh, GameCube, I'm not really getting much now for GameCube. It's, it's kind of hard now. Some games I'm like, yeah, they're a $100 game, like, Gotcha Force and shit, so. Uh, anyways, the game I'm talking about is Dr uh, Drill Dozer. So Drill Dozer is a game I actually eyed back when it was like when I saw it in the Walmart uh, like cabinets. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I seen them like all the time. Drill Dozer and I like no one. I don't. Okay, not no one. I didn't even know what the fuck Drill Dozer was. I'm not even fucking lying to you. I'm like cool. It's by Nintendo. That's all I'm aware of. But what the fuck is it? You know. I think my closest like connection with that game was I saw it on like, like Nintendo Power, and I never knew anything about it. So uh, I, that's probably why like I never bought it. So all right. Uh, anyways, Drill Dozer. I know it's the like the only or one of the only Game Boy Advance games that actually look different uh, from other Game Boy Advance games because the the cartridge is like shaped weirdly differently because it has a built-in rumble feature, including. Uh, like the color itself, it's like a, I, don't know, I think it's like a like a light pinkish tan color kind of cart 
Ooh, cartridge. And that's something you can't actually... Ooh, sorry, I keep rubbing really enough. That's something you can't, like, bootleg, you know? So, if you have a boot... If you have, like, a fucking uh, a drill dozer, and it's not that exact same shape or color, then you already know it's it's a bootleg. So, I, that, that's something I actually kind of like. It's not a variant or anything like that, but it's something I truly, really like. So, what, what else can I tell you about it, so... Anyways, uh, besides that, I... <laughs> I got so excited, guys. I got myself a Keyblade. A freaking Keyblade, guys. Now, now okay, now I'm probably saying, uh, what do you mean by a Keyblade, Joe? I mean, like, a literally a life-size Keyblade. No fucking joke. A Keyblade. I am fucking ecstatic. Uh, I am so glad it's not fucking cheap. It's not... Uh, I mean, it's pretty, like, it wasn't, like, expensive. It was, like, literally $35. Um, but I'm happy that it's not like, oh, it's made out of wood. Oh, it's fucking, it's, it's not. Maybe it's not made out of wood. Maybe it's made out of metal, but it's not cheap metal, you know? But this one's pretty freaking good, and also I won. Also, I think this is the last match, I think. If not, whatever. Rosalina Luma versus Cloud versus Charizard. So, all right. Anyways, this Keyblade... It's metal. It has a grip. It just is awesome. The one thing about my Keyblade I, I kind of hate because it's it just that's just how it came with, and I can't really you know do anything about it. Is that the Keyblade? Uh, I guess where it attaches where the end of the key is, where the, the little chain. There's a little chain there. It wasn't connected, and um, it's not like you know a thing. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I I had a uh, what do you call it a, uh, a secondary idea and I went with it and it's working so far it, ha it hasn't really came off the chain or anything like that so uh, but anyways I'll figure something out someday about uh, maybe putting like something in the little hole to make it connect on there so it don't fall out or something like that I don't know I'm just, I'm, I'm I'm thinking about ideas so anyways but I'm so excited I got a keyblade and. It just looks cool. I gotta admit, it's one of the f only couple of things I would like to have that's a replica in real life. No lie, the Keyblade, the uh, Al Alcudo, the no, like the Alucard or something like that. I forget the Al Alavicator. I don't remember what the fuck the sword is called, but it's Kito's sword from Sword Art Online. That uh, I don't want it to be like a foam fucking sword. I see now a line, and I like no, so bro, that's not cool. I don't like a, I don't want a foam fucking sword. I want a like not a real fucking sword or something like that. Like like make make it like a sword that can like maybe like it's actually a little bit kind of sh not like sharp sharp, but like that's something that actually feels like a little like an actual sword. That's probably not the made out of like real hard metal or anything like like that. Like real, you know. Just something like, like cosplay wise, you know? That that to me looks really badass. Just 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 his sword. His sword alone. Uh, that, uh, of course, uh, the shield of uh, the shield and mass the, the sword and shield from Legend of Zelda. I uh, I don't I th I think I'm mostly going for the black one. Uh, for the shield, I've not really decided maybe the uh, Twilight Princess one, I'm not really too sure. Maybe Majora's mask. But still. Uh, but Ocarina of Time is just so freaking overdone. So, of course, you know. Oh, I just fucking... Oh, not, I'm not charged. I just fuck, well, he just fucking killed him and shit. And then, uh, then the last thing that I can think of right now, right now is uh, fucking the, the Gears of War uh, gun, the Lancer. That thing looks fucking badass. And I always wanted one from GameStop, but no, let's take it off the GameStop Powers Rewards membership stuff. Right when I finally had the money to get the stupid thing, and then they didn't have it anymore. Not like they were out of stock. No, I mean like they literally didn't have it anymore in their freaking like, like, like uh, catalog. So it was just, it was a freaking piss me off. But anyways, that's it for today, everybody. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys all for the next episode of Let's Play uh, Weekly Smash Brothers, which I believe maybe more of these guys. So, anyways, bye. CD Chaos Control!